Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Geda here, and this mechanical switches are really essential in any electronic product to control the on and off power. But today, you cannot see any mechanical switch in products like this power bank. You can see these tactile switches, so they look nice. They easy to install and they are very affordable. These are the benefits. That's why these switches are really good. So today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make soft latching push button on off switch. So let's get started. Okay, so to make your own soft latching switch, you will need this two pieces of 1K resistors, BC five four seven NPN transistor, BC five five seven PNP transistor. two tactile push button switches and a piece of proto board you can make this circuit on proto board like this and it will look very nice but today in this video i'll be showing you the working demo of this circuit on to this breadboard right here here are the two resistors 1k ohm then bc547 and bc557 right here then we have our two switches Okay guys as you can see we have simulation on to this side and our real circuit on to this breadboard so let me just push this power button so as you can see the circuit is now turned on and into the simulation as you can see the current is started flowing from this pnp transistor which turned on this npn transistor and we get power into our led strip so that's working of this circuit in on state so let's just turn off this circuit so how we turn off this circuit is by connecting the base of this npn transistor to the ground so that's why it is turned off and that's pretty much the working of this circuit So right now I hooked up my multimeter onto this circuit at the output. So let's see when we turn on we get clearly 4.2 volts. Right now I'm giving it 4.3 volts. When we turn off we will clearly get 0 volts. There is no floating voltage and just in case if you are wondering how much amps does it can handle. So here is 12 volt 1.8 ampere servo fan so let's turn this fan on as you can see here is the amps in this circuit i have installed another pair of transistor which is d8050 and d8 double five zero so with this replacement i can able to handle 1.5 amps clearly and without getting this transistor destroyed interestingly if you put an photodiode onto the on switch you can see that the circuit now can turn on by help of any infrared leds but it does also pick up the ambient light and it accidentally turns on so what you gonna do you gonna put this black tape around it and you can see now it can turn off and with the help of this remote infrared remote light right here you can turn it on and this is very nice kind of application if you want it using just only two transistors and two resistors So hope you learned something from this video guys and let me know what do you think about this circuit and stay cool